in this uh, screencast uh, we will try to use the you know step function in some other function so here's the small code for you know step function which is y is equals to you know step t and uh, t is always greater than or equal to zero so how we can use this uh, here's a small code again another function uh, in which we will define t is equal to minus 5 to 5 with an increment of 0 0.01 and here's my function so as you can see here i'm using you know step function and uh, this unit step function is making these this all function to start from two as t is equal t minus two is equal to zero and t is equal to two. So let's see how it works. So as you can see in the graph that our function is starting from two and uh, is sinusoidal as well as exponentially decaying function. So let's uh, just change it to plus two now. Our function will start from negative two. So as you can see over here on the negative two, our function is getting started. You can just change it uh, like uh, just making it a sinusoidal function and just uh, making it to start from negative two. Like right? you can see, it's starting from negative two. You know, step function when getting uh, with uh, with a magnitude of one when getting multiplied with any function, other function, it will uh, make it to start from that point where the unit step function is getting started. You can also use the unit step function in this sense or in this syntax that you, you can get the value of sine 10 pi t from 0 to 4. So let's run. And here you can see we are just getting the values of sinusoidal functions from uh, 0 to 4. Have a nice day. Bye.